We've talked to round about 30 lease companies and fleet managers about what the most common things that people get caught out on. Things that people just get charged and don't realise. Most of the fleet managers and lease companies told us that in general it's all kinds of things. Um, it's mainly that people don't take checking the car over very seriously. Uh, in our experience most people just have a quick look round the car, open up the boot maybe and, and you know check the spare wheels there and that sort of thing. But they don't actually get down on their hands and knees and have a look round the sills and look at the jacking points and check the service book and uh, the two main things are that we find um, is missing keys, parcel shelves missing and scratches, dents, damage on the seals. Missing service books is a common one and the stamps on the service book as well. With these days with you thinking that it's been being done electronically well, yes, it is. It's often going on the dealer's computer. But it doesn't mean, say, they've stamped the book. So if you're having your car service, you need to make sure that that book's stamped and that you keep the book with the car. Uh, one uh, fleet manager explained that she's often getting cars back where on the last service they had, they inadvertently leave the book with the dealer. Um, if you have lost your book, you can go back to the dealer and normally they have the records on their computer and the book itself can only cost about five to ten pounds and they'll restamp it normally they'll do that for free so you know don't worry if you've lost it but it's important to make sure it does go back with the car because the charges can be uh, one fleet manager said that it could come to a small fortune just with one stamp missing um, and you can understand that from a point of view of uh, you know we all see the adverts uh, with service history so uh, another one is a spare key um, a lot of people don't think about it they've owned the car for or had the car for three years and only had the one key on their thob but they've forgotten that they put the spare key at the back of the kitchen drawer or on their partner's key ring these keys can be very expensive uh, they've got electronic gizmos in them these days that unlock the doors and boots and things and also that uh, enhance the security so you know we've seen recharge bills from a uh, hundred pounds to 550 pounds for one key believe it or not so uh, it's an important one to make sure you've got and if you haven't got it uh, check with your lease company as to what their charge will be before you give it back because you may want to just go to the dealers and get another one done um, or look that little bit harder in the kitchen drawer small dents on low down areas uh, is another one um, people don't quite realize the dent sizes. Uh, it's the kind of dents that people get caught on is where somebody might have opened their door into the side of the car and put a little dink in it and you've got to look at, along the car to see those and sometimes you don't notice them uh, low down on the car um, and bigger dents we see an awful lot of big big dents on seals uh, so that's one where sometimes uh, it can be incorrectly jacked and the um, jacking point itself is is kind of bent or um you know there's lots of dents we find on those areas and other ones is that the seal itself doesn't often get cleaned so uh, in you know if you go for a car wash it misses that bit and, and you know over a period of time nobody seems to notice and uh, you know you can get a gouge in those and we are always seeing gouges in seals and that can be quite damaging to the car and the, and the value of the car. So, you know, you know there are some quite uh, big charges for those. So, uh, again, that's something that can be rectified. But I would check again with your lease company as to what those kind of charges would be. Chips on bonnets uh, and door edges. Well, if you didn't get a touch-up for the car, now's a good a good idea to get one. Um, there, you can go and get an artist brush from the dealer, um, or a touch-up from the dealer, and go and get your artist brush, and just gently dot them in. Um, any ones that have gone rusty are chargeable, and they can charge you for a whole panel to be resprayed. 
So ideally, you should have done this when you got the car, but, uh, you know, a lot of them aren't uh, all the way through and a uh, little tiny dot on them can, uh, you know, make the whole car look better and avoid the charges. Uh, we do see quite a lot of charges for um, stone chips on bonnets. Uh, another one uh, is holes under the carpets, on the uh, under the pedals. Uh, it's usually ladies for this one uh, because um, it's caused by uh, usually caused by high heel shoes, and we see a lot of damage on carpets. Um, ideally, obviously, the carpet should have had a decent mat there, but um, it's an area that can be repaired. Uh, not all companies can do it, but there are companies out there that can repair them and uh, it's got to be a proper repair it's, it's not you know you, it, it needs to be so that it, um, it you know it's not a cover-up it comes it doesn't come back it but they can be done and um, you know otherwise the charges for these can be a lot of money for having holes in carpets one uh, fleet manager told me of uh, a complete car seat missing which is a bit unusual um, and he did comment that the charge wasn't that much <laughs> so the lease company was quite forgiving on that um, but it's common that people take out parcel shells and this sort of thing and then leave them in the garage and, and actually forget the car ever came with one particularly with people carriers and hatchbacks so that's another one that people are going to make sure Uh, fleet managers mainly um, have picked out all these bits and bobs, but the main general consensus is that most people don't take checking the car very seriously. Um, most fleet managers said, well, look, you know, that all of these things, the missing keys and all these various things that get charged for, but most of the time it's that drivers just have a quick look around the car, maybe find a little scratch, a couple of little chips, a couple of dents, find that you know the service book's missing find that put it back in the car give it a vac you know and they don't actually give it a real proper check so the car needs to be cleaned properly and you'd expect to take at least 20 minutes to 45 minutes checking the car over uh, we have a downloadable checklist on our website with instructions and you can tick and cross the boxes if there's any crosses on there then of course uh, you can address those